everybody, and welcome back to Duck Pin Magic. I'm Mike Seller with me, Joe Ryan here. Once again, Joe, we're at Fairlanes Middlesex in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and we've got the youth bowlers to look forward to. Well, we got the boys, two boys from the north and two from the south, and then, of course, the eventual winner as they bowl each other. And I'm telling you, we have some future Pro Tour members in this group. All right, we'll get to our first match coming up right after this. Don't go away. <laughs> First match is the boys' semifinal Northern Division. Eric Pellet from East Hartford, Connecticut, taking on Danny Church from Plantsville, Connecticut. Eric steps in. Mike, Eric has some pretty impressive numbers here. 205 high game and a world record in the major boys' hey! division. And there you see why. 557, and that's, that's big. A spot bowler bowls out of Holiday Lanes in Manchester. And he said his greatest moment was when he set the world record. He averaged 136 all the way, all the and way. aspires to become a member of the Duckman Pro Tour. And I believe he'll accomplish that goal. He could actually do that now. His high uh, average of 136 is certainly high enough to do that. Well, and I think, in all honesty, uh, I've watched him perform, and I think he has the maturity, uh, you know, to handle it. I think that he would be better off staying where he's at for a couple years because so many times when you're, you're on top and you jump into the fire, there you see a, a nine break off the left side. It, it takes your confidence away, Mike. There's a lot happens in that first pro tour that you bowl in or the first time that you qualify and you go head to head with, let's say, quote, a name. And uh, a lot depends, depends how you handle that, how your future is going to be. Well, as we saw in the girls' match a couple Some weeks nerves, ago, yeah. a little case, that's exactly right. Well, Danny is uh, 16 years old, goes to uh, Southington High School, sophomore there. I can tell you if they were both 20 years older, the nerves do not go away. They still are there. You handle them a little different, but they're still there. Danny carries a 133 average. He's got a high game of 200 and a high three-game series of 491. Well, he drops nine, and once again, we'll have an opportunity to shoot at a mark here. We'll find out if, uh, here's a shot where you just watch the execution and you'll know long before the ball arrives at the end of the lane whether he's gonna make it. Pretty hard to tell, because he only got a little of it. So we have our first spare, 19 plus for Danny as Eric steps up the bowl frames two and three. Started bowling at age five. Hey! Move, 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 move. What you have to like about Eric's game, it's very basic. Very little movement, uh, short backswing, square shoulders. Everything's very compact. Which helps because in the long run, you just, uh, not a lot goes wrong in that uh, backswing area. I think what you find comparing that bowler to the longer arc arm swing uh, is that the consistency is going to be there. You. Duckpin Magic now moves to further action in the same match. Frank Appelstein put it together some 14 years ago and more or less on his own asked some proprietors if I put these kids together, can, can we come in and bowl and will you give us free games because we really don't have the the ability to come up with the finances for it and we started doing it and uh, it, it spread to the north and here's what you see the result is a, a north south sort of invitational that creates a lot of camaraderie and competition and just a lot of fun for everybody involved Danny goes by the left side so he'll have the third ball to try to pick up a couple of pins here Eight count, total of 45 after four. That two fill that he had in the uh, second frame sort of neutralize his mark. He Big does ball. have the two marks and uh, has just the 45 count after four. And here's Eric Pellet. No doubt about that one. Very basic game. 
bowling ball is half black and half white, Mike, and it, it really Easy gives to you, pick up those revolutions, yeah. If you watch it, it sure does. I'll tell you one thing, he, for that short stroke, he revs it up pretty good, and... Uh, that crowd's really getting into it now, as a, as a second ball to count on the strike in the fourth. Sort of free will, and Mike, it didn't take him long to get locked in. He went by a single in frame one, and is going spare, spare, strike, spare, as Danny plays catch up. You know how tough that can be oh. at any age, regardless of whether you're 16 and been on TV for the first time. Uh, Danny is, uh, he's a little quick, and, and if you remember over the past, well, that's, this is a fifth frame for him. He's had a number of the balls left, which tells you he's, he's getting there a little quick, and he's sort of leaning forward. He can kind of sit back and get up under it like that. Nice try, Ann. Nice number five stays. Five pin looks like it may have slid off a little bit, doesn't it? To the right, maybe just far enough to cost him the spare shot, but that's part of the game. There's a good ball yep, down he's and got through the it. Ten. Fifty-five after five. We'll move over to bowl on lane five here at Fair Lanes Middle Six. Twenty-two pins down, and Eric's working on the spares. Danny holds frame number six. <laughs> He's really fighting going left. You can see, I mean, he did catch the left pocket and it was a good ball, but it's, it wants to go left on him. Let's see if he extends and reaches for the number nine pin. Spare, frame six. Bullseye, all right. There you go. Getting a little relaxed. You yep. can see a little. So 16-year-old Danny Church puts a mark on the board. Got the story here. Eric Pellett comes in and is looking to uh, add to his total. Four out of five frames has put marks on the board. Watch how square and compact he is at the line. Oh! Got away with it. Yeah, let it go off right that time a little bit. Sailed to the right, got a little quick himself. Uh, two, four, seven remaining. What happens, Mike, when you, when, you, when you don't walk or your approach, your rhythm becomes a little quicker, you don't have the opportunity to, to get into the nice knee bend in the position to, to control the ball like that. You see how still he was setting when the hand came through? He's right on the money with the uh, second pitch, and so he's got another mark on the board. If you watch most of the good ones, when the ball comes out of their hand, they're really still. The, the foot is sort of planted. The slide is completed. And when you can do that, it expands your pocket to now you're shooting between the two and three rather than in the one three pocket. Uh, you know, when you can actually say that to score, you have to hit the one-two pocket. You better be making a change because you just can't do that. Another spare break here. Okay, oh, okay. Let it slip right that time. Well, you can see what he does. It's it's very obvious because of his nice slow rhythm that, that he just gets a little gets there a little early and he's popping up as he's throwing the ball and the ball sails to the right. Both these bowlers from Connecticut. Danny Church, T-Bowl, Cheshire. Bowls in the Connecticut Travel League. There is a strike, that'll tighten things up a little. Well, you could tell in the fifth frame, Mike, that he, he relaxed and the arm was a little more natural and the muscle we'll come out of the arm. Delivery at the line. Watch the hand come through. See where it finished? Nice solid at the line and the results couldn't have been better. Danny would love to put another one on the board right here in the seventh frame. Close things up in a hurry. Yeah, eighth frame, rather, as he did in the seventh. Eric being open in the seventh, this would be a big, big ball. Oh. Push through the middle. Tough break. Uh, you know, you throw a beautiful ball and you're ready to go and you run into that wall. Sort of stops old Mo in a hurry. 112.91. Yeah, that frame was a was an opportunity to sort of get Eric's attention and let him know that he had an opponent. And all of a sudden, it's like, you know, I made five marks in a row. I have one open, and this guy's caught up. How'd this happen? But unfortunately, Danny went through the middle. Eric will bowl lane six for frame number eight. And there's a strike. Very impressive ball, Mike, and I think what you're seeing is an example of the proper speed 
for the lift and turns if you watch. Nice and solid. It really looks, he's, he's the type of bowler that, that when you watch, you say, boy, he makes it look so easy. Can wait for that strike ball coming back to half and half. He's looking to uh, shut Danny on a further chance of winning this match right here. He didn't, he didn't have to get lucky. <laughs> Good ball. Double for Eric Pollitt. Third strike in the match. Tough match to be in for Danny when you have a guy up there. I mean, uh, you just you have to stay within your own game and not let what Eric's do, doing have uh, too much of an impact. It's sort of tough to close it out, but. Good spare. Nope, Danny's only 16. He'll be around for a while. I'm sure. I think they're both gonna be around for quite a while, Mike. If we stick around long enough, uh, I think we'll probably be doing some games with them going up the ladder in the Pro Tour. Counts eight. 118 in the ninth, and we'll try to finish up here in the tenth. Tell you what'll help. Of course, you, you really can't do anything to help Eric too much at this point, but if he watches this and, and gets a tape of it, when you go a little bad, you'll be able to look back and say, just a comparison as to what am I doing now and what did I do then? And I think if if Eric or Danny were to look back, the only thing he'd want to do really is just get the ball up in front of him a little bit. He was a little tentative and has the ball on the floor early. 128, not too shabby. One thirty-two plus in the eighth, working on a doubleheader. Eric Pellet, just showing you how he shot five fifty-seven. Oh, oh. Got some help there. Is uh, he was off to the right? Seems he gets a little lazy. The ball. Well, and it, you're right. It's lazy. Gets cast off to the right and not follow through on it. I, but you know, Mike, I would rather see a bowler do that than to panic as the arm starts down and pull it. You know, he lets it go natural and it. I tell you what, he throws a heavy driving ball because he just hit the left side of the one and the ball carried through to the eight. And you'll see that ball deflect many, many times. He's pulling a Joe Ryan here. He wants to go on the other lane, you know? <laughs> He's got 160 after nine plus the uh, spare and this ball coming up here in the temp. This will be nine or better. Nice game for Eric Cullen. He wins it 179-128. He'll be back later on the show. We've got the semifinals Southern Division coming up for you on Duckman Magic right after this.